Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here with J-Line, helping others achieve greatness in every part of life. Today we're talking about enthusiasm. This is part four in our series, How to Maintain Your Edge in Life. Edge, E-D-G-E. All right, the first E stands for energy, D stands for development, G stands for goals, and the second E in edge, which is this video, is enthusiasm. How do we maintain our enthusiasm in life? What do I mean when we're talking enthusiasm? We're talking about your outlook on life, your mindset about life, your interest in life, your excitement, your engagement, your commitment, your devotion, your pursuit, your passion, your enthusiasm. Most people right now would say, you know what? I just wanna do what I love. That is what I'm excited about. That's how I can increase my enthusiasm, just by doing what I love. Well, how many know that there is a big difference between doing what you love and pursuing what you love? I don't get it, Brian. What do you mean? I believe that if we're not careful, many of us will fall for the trap for settling for good over great. You may have heard the term play now and pay later or pay now and play later. I want it now. Basically, what I'm talking about is being successful will cost you something. Pay now or pay later. Greatness has a price. Here's an example. Getting out of debt can be so hard and strenuous. Not much enthusiasm for that. But what would your life look like if you didn't have to pay the extra late fees, overdrafts, interest? You know, the average person pays 69% of their money going towards these things. Getting out of debt could be like a 69% raise. Get some enthusiasm on that one. I believe that becoming fully alive and fully fulfilled will cost us something. If it's worth anything, it will cost us something. I believe there's too many people that are trading their future for the now and they're settling for status quo, barely getting by, and mediocre results in life. But remember, being successful will cost you something. Now we could do another video talking about what success is, but we're talking about your life, your enthusiasm. How do you maintain that edge and stay engaged with life and your future? I'm talking about seeing the big picture keeping our eyes on the prize. There's highs and there's lows, there's ups and there's downs, but let's maintain our enthusiasm. To maintain our enthusiasm, we must keep our eyes on the mountaintop, even in the midst of the valley. Even if you would say, you know what, my life's going great, I'm very excited, I'm on the top of the mountain right now. Well, let me tell you, there's a higher mountain out there. There's a next level, a greater success, where you can have greater impact, greater influence, and yes, even a greater income, a greater glory and a greater your calling. Come on, somebody. All right, let's wrap this series up because this is part four and I want to give you three keys for maintaining your enthusiasm as you maintain your edge in life. All right, number one is this. Keep your dreams, plans, and goals in front of you. Now, this could be something that you write down in a journal, on a vision board or a dream board. You can put up pictures around, words, phrases, or even writing little notes on the mirror or next to your bed. Basically, something that you can see every day. We should do another video about how to do a vision board or a dream board. Something that I see every single day as I'm preparing and getting ready for my day, it's a phrase on a mirror and it says, today I will accomplish blank no matter what. And each day I fill in that blank. You know, as I prepare for the day and plan out my day. So keep your dreams, plans, and goals in front of you. All right, number two, get yourself a mentor or a coach that will encourage you and motivate you to maintain your edge in life and someone that can push you beyond your comfort zone and into your growth zone. All right, here's a little tip. Friends are perfect for the comfort zone, but I believe that you need a coach or a mentor, somebody that will push you beyond your comfort zone and get you to that growth zone. Perhaps you have a friend that is an expert in a certain area and that can mentor you or coach you to achieve what they have achieved. Just make sure you set clear boundaries on you are my coach right now, and thanks for being my friend too. Sometimes you just have to get outside of your circle to get a mentor, to get a coach that will push you beyond your comfort zone and into the growth zone. Come on, somebody. All right, number three is this. Follow our maintaining your edge formula. That's energy, development, goals, and enthusiasm. Stay engaged towards your greatness. And I wanna say one more thing about maintaining your edge. Live life on the edge, where you have constant energy and know how to take care of yourself where you are investing in yourself in your own development, where you are hyper-focused and super effective in achieving those goals, and where you're passionate with so much enthusiasm for life. 
Now, of course, we do life and health coaching here at J-Line and we would love to support you. But the point is to get somebody that is your coach that can keep your dreams in front of you and help you live on the edge. Because we believe living on the edge is your growth point. Let's discover our growth point today. If you want to hear more about that, just uh, check out our website, jline.org. That's j-line.org. And if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The J-Line Network, so you can stay up to date on all things to keep your life great.